What's going on everybody and welcome to the Mina channel and uh, it is late at night and I just have this idea in my mind to talk about this video so I'm gonna do it now plus to win in a regular time uh, but uh, I just finished Persona 5 Rogel and um, some of you guys sat with me there as we played through the game and everything so uh, today we're gonna talk about um, one of the characters that I was the most interested as far as to see the changes that we're gonna do to this character this is obviously spoilers so if you don't want to be spoiled i strongly recommend you to please click away from the video now as i will be talking about spoilers regarding persona 5 rojo and it's ending as well as some other discussions here let's go ahead and talk about this so Ogoro Akechi. Ogoro Akechi is an interesting character. He's been an interesting character since the original game, as he's presented to be the Judas or the person that betrays your party uh, into um, the events that happen afterwards in Persona 5. So he's always been some sort of uh, interesting character. However, the way that Persona 5 Royal handled Goro Akechi is one of the most interesting and redeeming qualities of the game itself. They handled him in a completely different light they still handle his story for the most part almost the same however after the events of the original game uh the and Nakechi shows up back again you really get to see a different side of him and something that really changed my perspective on this character so um, first of all I do want to commend Atlas for actually giving him a proper social link uh, this character originally had nothing other than an automatic link that just kind of grew the story along and everything nothing particularly interesting about his character and therefore you never really grow uh, to like this character or even really see where he's coming from even though you get to see a part of him or some of the reasons why he may be the way that he is you don't really gain to interact with him to the extent of that however in Persona 5 Royal you get to see a lot of that um, Goro uh, is an interesting character that has a lot of different layers and motivations you get to learn that from him as well as kind of get some layers about what why he is the way he is and i really appreciate it a lot uh, for the most part his character stays almost the same up until the third semester now once the third semester hits you see the true akechi and let me tell you is one of the most satisfying and interesting character arcs that i've ever seen in a long time his character is completely different he's a uh, wild and free and he just says what he wants and what he thinks some of the stuff that he says is pretty hilarious and some of the stuff is pretty crazy as well he's just bloodthirsty and just tired he just says what he wants to say some of the conversations and facts are really interesting uh, i remember seeing one of the conversations about uh how he hates pancakes and he's just tired of that and everything and it's just really a nod as far as the fact that he was caught because he was talking about how he liked pancakes uh even though he indeed does not you know his big persona really got him into trouble that he ended up being at the end um but i digress uh overall the character really have a lot of development in this game um particularly again later on as he kind of joins your party again and, uh, and wants to do the right thing to get you back into the correct reality with everything that's going on uh pertaining to the villain and everything and um i really appreciated that a lot i think that his character was definitely more more um not only redeeming quality but also really get uh, some kind of depth that you don't really see on him originally he's a much better uh, uh, person when he's just himself he's actually somebody that could have been really terrible for the rest of the game like if he had joined your party originally and uh, being the way that he is it would have been just super funny to see interactions with everybody he really grows on you over time and even though uh, i'll be honest with you this character never i never really liked this character too much I thought he was a lazy uh, twist on the series. I thought that his character motivations didn't really caught up to what the character is and what he says and everything. I just didn't really like him a whole lot. However, Persona 5 Royal really changed my mind in a lot of things. I see a different side of him. I think that he's a much layered character and I really redeemed him as um, a better anti-hero because that's why he becomes he's not a villain he's an anti-hero in this game particularly it changed the gameplay for me it changed the experience for me and it really did something that i didn't expect i expect i didn't expect to like akechi the way that i did now i think that he's a really excellent and interesting character that maybe uh, could have been even better in the party overall i think that his his uh, abilities are excellent uh seeing him 
playing Joe, uh, Loki as his persona, it makes sense and what he does and everything like that. He's a really strong character as well, and he he comes back at a perfect time. I think that his um, redemption arc, so to speak, really works out and speaks volumes. Now, at the end of the day, his uh, self-sacrifice is also something that really shocked me. Um, you, he knows and he's aware that going into this. Um, a situation where he potentially could lose his life because he is aware that he, he's alive because of Maruki who has used some kind of means to change the cognitive world and allowing him to be alive and, and do the thing that he does and everything but he goes and plans to not follow that he wants to get back to the reality with everybody else he wants to do a thing and everything like that knowing well or at least i believe that he knows that he may not be not come back alive and uh, that is something that is i do find fascinating and interesting it's such a different change of character the original goro Kechi would have not done something like that I think he would have easily sacrificed the party for the, for his own happiness as he had originally intended. But I do, I do think that he, in some kind of way, he did have a change of heart. Even if it wasn't a little change of heart, I think he does, in some kind of way, change his perspective of people and the Phantom Tips, really, in general. Um, you, I clearly feel that he really had a good time with everybody at the end. When you get the bad ending, for example, he stays with your party. He actually just goes along with it even if even if you chose to go against his own wishes and it looks like he's having fun with everybody that you're all hanging out and everything he actually does show up uh, at makoto's and haru's graduation and they're just hanging out and having fun and everything i thought it was a really wholesome moment i really liked the way that they portray him throughout the entirety especially if you get the bad ending because it does kind of end that story arc of, of his redemption and everything i really like that a lot i think that in a sense it kind of made sense um because i honestly wanted to see everybody happy but obviously that's not um what happened in the end because we he did choose to sacrifice himself and everything now it brings the big question obviously is he alive or is he not this is uh obviously something that can be debated forever we do see a silhouette uh, of his costume of his uh, clothing as he walks down the street now we don't know if that's him or not but we actually do see joker kind of uh, or a main character turning to joker for a second uh with the reflection so it does kind of hint at maybe he's alive maybe he's not i like how they kind of left it hanging in there for you to kind of figure it out or not i think this is one of the biggest open door kind of things for them in case they decided they want to bring goro uh to a sequel game or something that they can definitely do that otherwise they can just let him die in peace and that's it right so i really like that i think that this was an excellent move from atlas for them to do that um i always prefer characters to kind of stay uh, in limbo you don't know what, how going on what's happening or anything like that because i do appreciate that quite a bit anyway that is pretty much in this video here i really wanted to discuss this because again i um i found his character arc to be much better i, I am glad that they did this change i think that this change was very needed and it's a change that i expected from atlas but not to the extent that they did it they definitely fixed and kind of uh, helped his character develop in a in a much better way for sure anyway that's pretty much in this video here today and if you're new please consider liking and subscribing let me know what you think about this character and who is your new favorite character did, did the uh, game of persona 5 royal change the way that you see these characters did any in particular caught your eye or anything like that anyway that's it for today guys and i'll see you guys next time